Frankers and I are on the way over to Laura and Colin's house because uh, it's kind of a well, I've got some shifting to do. It's uh, it's kind of a poopy day, so I thought uh, fairly appropriate to fire up the manure spreader truck. I believe this was a City of Edmonton garbage truck in its salad days, and now it is a manure spreading unit that uh, Colin fires up occasionally to, you know, spread the shit around. Can't leave it all to the CBC. What do you think, Boo Boo? You having fun today? Going with Dad? Go for rides? Yeah. Let's see if the old vacuum wipers are still going. Oh yeah, that's cool. Just slapping away. Yes, the gauge is still hooked up. You just have to give her some revs to get her to come much off the peg there. But that's okay. Still going. Colin's fine collection of pre-owned GMCs still hanging together here. <laughs> Look at that thing. Yeah. Okay. Stay there. I don't really know the vintage of this machine. Anybody watching who knows better than I do, which would be a lot of people, uh, feel free to fill us in. I'm guessing it's from the 70s, but that's the best I could do. That's actually well done. It's nice. Little drop shadow. Cool. It's a road expeditor white gmc awesome this is a gmc two-stroke diesel and i believe it is a straight six and we will get some more details from colin when he gets here i probably should climb inside and help myself <laughs> it's actually it's a little more complete than i thought it might be i'm sure if they just gutted it the radio and yeah she's pretty crunchy pretty crunchy you got a voltmeter uh, temperature gauge looks like a oil pressure gauge uh, air pressure gauge for the brakes fuel tachometer speedometer rather and tachometer over there Looks like we could be heading north at 2,000 RPM today. Yeah, there you go. She's pretty base. Pretty base. Ashtray. Nobody left me any roaches. I actually don't know if this thing is road legal anymore. I suspect it is not. I think that it is pretty much driven. Well, maybe it is. Because they have to drive it to the field. So maybe it takes very short road journeys. Nice patches in there. Looks like he's got the multiple smoke outlet modification, so it's going to sound awesome. Myself Give us your best, your best guess. Oh, I don't even remember. I was trying to remember. It's supercharged, I know. Yep. It is. It's supercharged and turbocharged. So wow! Double charged. Double charged. This thing is going to. Make so, some racket. I like the custom it, exhaust yeah, performance package uh, there. You can see the black smoke. Yeah. So we bought this truck as a garbage truck. We were going to convert into a bale stacker. Yeah. And it sat here for, well, probably 20 years after we bought it. And really? It never got oh, yeah. converted. Yeah. And then one day we thought we needed to put a manure spread, buy a manure spreader. So we took it off, put it on. So our good friend, Doug Julian, shout out to him. Yeah, Doug, Doug uh, can fix anything. He took and refurbished all the injectors, put them in. Yeah, fires right up. Fires right up. And what, well, it's almost we'll a decade since yeah. then. And none of my other machines start like this does. So huh. we're gonna start it for the first time this year. Yeah. It's got old recycled batteries in it. So yeah. I threw yeah. a charger on it. 
this is a, thinking about one word review for Laura, from Laura. I think yeah. that would be atrocious. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mouse. Mousy. Mousy, gross. It's pretty it's nasty, pretty yeah. nasty roof but leaks. But it's only got a spread poo. So. It's already got a spread poo. Chassis cab, white motors, 78, 79, or 80. I can't, none of, oh, 79 looks like it might be checked off. So I was pretty close. Yeah, no, there you go. go. And then? And then? go on the road ever no, no. although we're, we will section. take it down we will take it down to Doug's a little later okay. it's kind of a yeah like a Sunday afternoon yeah sure Same old shit. <laughs> 